everybody my name is Carla and you have reached my floss tube channel Carla being crafty um, I normally do a weekly uh, video on Sundays all about cross stitch and crafts and that kind of thing but today is a new video sort of an floss tube extra if you will um, I decided to get um, the universal yums um, taste uh, box um, I started that subscription it's a $25 uh, a month subscription it's the middle layer um, and so every month I will get a box of snacks and it's basically like candy and snacks that kind of thing from a different country um, this isn't anything new. They've been around for a while and there's a lot of people on YouTube who do reviews and people have blogs and stuff like that. But I thought it would be a fun thing to do and um, I thought it would be a fun thing to share with the people who follow me. Um, it won't replace any kind of craft stuff. It's just an extra thing. And I got my first box yesterday. So I thought I would go ahead and do my first tasting. And um, Obviously, since this is new and I don't, I've never done this kind of a video before, um, it, it may be hit or miss. So if there's things that I do that you like or don't like or would like me to do differently, then please go ahead and share in the comments. Constructive criticism. Don't be mean because that's not going to help anybody. Um, but I thought it would be really fun to do this uh, once a month and, you know, if I get some kind of something that I can do tastings for you guys uh, aside from this box I will and we'll see how it goes um I'm really excited I like this kind of thing I like having a monthly thing that's fun to look forward to and um, you know I love food and snacks and stuff like that so um, I do know that this box is from Thailand because when I ordered the first time you know you pick um, but one of the things is it comes it has like a little sticker to seal it up and it's like a clue as to um, where the box is from because you don't know until you get it each month. Um, it says the land of smiles. And, but I do know it's Thailand because that's what I picked. So, opening the box and the first thing that we get is a map of the country that is super cool and um, so it has some little trivia tidbitty kinds of things about different uh, different cities in the country and in relation to some of the, the snacks and stuff in here so that's really cool um, it talks about uh, let's see, and of course this is going to be hard for me to read because um, they're not familiar words, but Udon Thani, it says up here, and it says, Paddle through pure bliss at this town's lotus lake featuring millions of floating pink flowers. Um, and then they're, they're like that with all of these little cities. Very cool. Um, let's see. The other side of this card, and I guess this is something that you get with every, with every box. So with different, um, with the different countries, um, it has rejects of things that they didn't put in the box, um, and then you can vote like if you would have wanted to taste that. Um, and I think um, a lot of this stuff you can go online and enter all this information and and I think you can actually win stuff but they also um, take into account like what people liked what they didn't like for future boxes um, there's 12 things in this box so that's exciting so a couple of things that they didn't put in were uh, kimchi chips pickled cabbage flavored seaweed um, they did not put in a snake fruit hard candy and they didn't put in a mushroom flavored pea snack so um, let's see another thing here a vote on the upcoming box uh, it says 
vote on an upcoming box. Where should we go next? Let's decide together. Mark the country below you'd most like to visit, then start packing. So the three ones on here are Portugal, Spain, and Croatia. I think I would like all of them. But Portugal and Spain, I think, would be the two that I would want to pick um, most. Actually, all three, but Portugal or Spain? I don't know. Spain, I feel like I might have a little bit more of um, a knowledge of some of those flavors, so maybe Portugal would be a little bit more different. I don't know. Um, but anyway, so that's the first thing that came in the box. Um, I got a welcome card. Um, with a lot of like in interesting information on it. Oh no. And then it says that there was a production problem with one of the things that I, so I didn't get that, which I'm bummed because I was looking forward to that one. It was a, a lime gummy, but that's not in the box. And instead they gave something else. So sour blueberry, I think. Okay, then this is one of the coolest things about Universal Yums is that it has a booklet for each country. And um, it really, like, you can find out a lot of information about that country. And then um, trivia stuff. And then it, it gives you a description of each of the foods. Um, and full... Um, ingredient information in case you have allergies or that kind of thing, which is good. Although I think for somebody with allergies or dietary restrictions, this kind of box is not going to be the best thing for you. Um, I know that my sister-in-law used to get this box for the kids, but the problem was is that my niece can't have gluten or dairy. So there was a lot of stuff that she couldn't have. Uh, my older nephew is very picky about what he eats, very picky. Um, so there's a lot of stuff that he didn't even want to taste. But the little one, and my sister-in-law really liked it, but she ended up not keeping it after a while because she just felt it wasn't worth it with uh, two out of the four of them not being able to eat half the stuff. But there's a lot of really cool information in here. I don't want to go through everything in the book because this is the first time I have no idea how long this is going to take. Um, but it says... Thailand in 60 seconds. It says Bangkok is called the Venice of the East because of its whopping 83 canals. Over 10,000 boats filled with tropical fruits, veggies, and fish reside in the watery streets, creating one of the world's largest floating markets. Thailand is the only Southeast Asian country never colonized by European powers. In fact, the only thing longer than Thailand's history of independence is the name of their king, which there is absolutely no way I can say this because his name is this entire thing right here. It starts there. That's his whole name. No way. <laughs> okay. All right. So let's go through the tasting thing. It says start here. So some of this stuff, I'm not sure exactly how I'll do it, but, um, all right, let's just get into it. Okay, so this, it says salt and sour. Tasto salt and sour. So this is a salty lemon potato chip. Um, let's see. Okay, it says, if it's rare snacks you're after, any Thai person would point you to the same, to Bangkok. The capital city streets, street markets, are the epicenter of the country's uh, cookies flavors filled with everything from fried tadpoles, wasabi flavored salmon skin, cuttlefish flavored peas, and even fried silkworms. Okay. There is one snack you won't find, salt and vinegar chips. Yes, we were shocked too until we tasted the more popular salty lemon chips, which have the same salt sour profile, but with a subtle fruitiness that might be even more addictive. Good. Ooh, 
They smell good. They smell familiar, like, like something from Chinese food or something. I mean, I know it's not China, but there's that. And hmm, they're really tasty. Um, I do get that like subtle lemon flavor, and I love lemon, so that's always going to be a win. Hmm, I like it. I forgot to bring over a bottle of water. So hold on just a second. I'm going to run to my refrigerator. I'm not even going to turn the video off. it would be a smart thing to have a bottle of water to kind of cleanse my palate. Okay. So these salty lemon potato chips, I really like them. Okay. So I brought over a couple things to help me with this tasting. As I said, this is the first time. So I have my little apple, which I have uh, filled with clips to, you know, chip clip any uh, little chips and I brought over my apple uh, cutting board and knife because I figured if there was like candy or stuff like that that was like in a bar I just want to take a taste and also show you what the inside looked like so okay that's the first thing second thing we have another bag that looks like chips um, okay this is super spicy, but then super sweet. It says Thai chili pepper potato chips. I know Thai chili peppers, those little guys, and those are like, you can't eat them. Um, we were having Kung Pao chicken one time, take out with a friend, of, there was a group of us, but one of the girls didn't know not to eat the pepper, and she just took a big bite and ate one of those, those Thai chili peppers. Oh my God, she turned so red. It was, it was, I mean, it's funny on hindsight, but at the time I thought she was going to be sick. It was like, it was so hot for her. Anyway, okay. It says, remember when we said Northern Thailand prefers less spicy foods and Southern Thailand prefers super spicy foods? I'm reading this kind of a little bit out of order, so that's why. Um, These searing chips are your ticket straight to the South. They're flavored with real Thai chili peppers. Uh, you'll find dried bits of them in the bag, which clock in about 15 times hotter than jalapenos. Let's just say this yum didn't get its devilish name for nothing. Okay, so I'm game to try it. I like spicy. I don't like killer spicy, so we'll see. We'll see if we can handle it. Oh, they smell really good. They don't actually smell really spicy. They smell almost sweet. Okay. So, they look like a barbecue potato chip. I have a feeling it won't be like that. Alright, here goes. Really good flavor. Spice is definitely hitting me. Back of throat. <clears throat> they are definitely spicy. They don't taste spicy at the first bite, but then the heat <clears throat> just kind of fills your mouth. <clears throat> it makes me want to cough a little. But they taste really good. Mm. Anybody who likes spice would really like those, I think. The flavor is great. <coughs> but they are a little bit spicy. Okay. <coughs> oh, goodness, you guys. Okay. Um, next little bag thing. 
Um, these are, again, it says sweet and spicy, so I guess we're on a theme here. Um, but of course, Thai food is spicy, so. These are called sweet garlic wheat chips. And it says, Thai folks can all agree sweet and spicy is an essential flavor combo, but how spicy is spicy exactly? That's where the discussion heats up, or cools down depending on which side you're on. You see, the South is heavily influenced by Malaysia and Java, where super spicy chili peppers reign supreme. But northern cities, nord, northern cities, excuse me, by like Chiang Mai, less spicy garlic is the go-to. Now we're not taking sides; we would never, but we just leave these crispy, sweet, and spicy chips here. Okay, so I guess the spice part is more garlic, which I love garlic. Like shrimp chips, like Filipino shrimp chips. They're a little, they don't seem to be stuck together, but they're a little like six sided thingies. Definitely have very sweet garlicky flavor. Um, I don't know if there's honey or something in them, but they do have. It says sweet and spicy fried potato snack, but they don't have a feel of like chips. They're definitely more of a, a crackery texture. Um, but yeah, I could eat this whole bag. They have a really good garlicky, sweet garlic taste. Okay. Um, okay, this is a sweet sort of chip. These are blendy coconut chips, sea salt and caramel. Okay, <clears throat> it says, these will provide sweet relief if your mouth is still on fire from the really hot ones. <laughs> Um, it says, is your mouth on fire? Quick chomp into these crispy salted caramel coconut chips for some sweet relief. Um, it, is that a little better? If so, don't think us. Think the Mac, monkeys? Macacue, M-A-C-A-Q-U-E. Macacu monkeys that pick 99% of Thailand's coconuts. After attending coconut picking school, the average monkey harvests 1,600 coconuts a day. A human can only pick 80. The practice is a bit controversial. Some argue the animals being in the wild, uh, some argue the animals being in the wild, and others believe it's basically the same as field plowing oxen or police dogs. What do you think? I think that's pretty interesting though that they have trained monkeys to harvest coconut. <laughs> they smell kind of like sun hand lotion. I mean, they smell like coconut. <coughs> Excuse me. And I have had coconut chips like this before that I've gotten at like Sprouts. Um, and I do really like them. So I'm sure I'm going to love these. Very coconut caramel. I mean, very tasty. Yep. What's going to be hard for me is after I open and taste all these snacks and then I'm like sealing them back up. It's not sitting down and making the entire box my dinner tonight. Okay. This is a nice big bag. Look at this. Um, okay. These are... Chalky, Chalky is the brand name, 
wafer Shibi, shibuya shibuya i don't think i'm saying that right honey toasted flavored cream wafer cubes with honey toast flavored cream um this wafer will, will definitely squelch the fire in your mouth it's based on japanese honey toast a dessert made by brushing a whole loaf of soft bread with butter and honey caramelizing it in the oven and then topping it off with a huge melty scoop of vanilla ice cream okay so that's what this is a very it's like a cookie wafer filled with shibuya honey toasted flavor cream mm, they smell really good nice big bag these are look like every other wafer cookie you ever had mm. really good if you like the flavor of honey you would really like these these will be really good excuse me with a nice hot cup of tea mm. really good Okay, so, so far, everything's floating my boat. Okay. <clears throat> what is this looking thing? Okay, this says it's called a Z-Roll Farm Fried Shrimp and Salad Cream. That's interesting. Seaweed wrapped potato stick with fried shrimp and mayo flavor. Today's the day you're going to try a potato stick wrapped in shrimp and mayo flavored seaweed. When you woke up this morning, you probably didn't think that would be on your agenda. <clears throat> Everything about this product is unexpected, including the origin story. The man behind it, Ifipat Tob Pira de Chapat. Okay, I know I butchered that. I'm sorry. Um, was just a teenager when he made his first million selling chestnuts. <clears throat> a few years after, after his first success came another. Todd noticed his girlfriend eating plain dried seaweed and thought it could use an upgrade. I like uh, seaweed also. Even the plain, the sushi seaweed. He took plain seaweed, infused it with classic Thai flavors, and voila. Now we have fried shrimp and mayo seaweed wrapped around a crispy potato snack. Go ahead and try it. In fact, think of it as just the beginning of the unexpected ride through Thai cuisine. Okay. So it's like one big snack, one big bowl. I'm just going to cut off a little bit <clears throat> so I can... So I just cut some off. <clears throat> so when I cut it, the seaweed kind of fell off a little bit. So I'll just hold it and eat it together. It's really tasty. As I said, I like seaweed anyway as a snack and flavored seaweeds even more. That was just a crispy, yummy thing. So yeah, I like that one as well. Okay. Let's see. Okay, this is called Suthura. Banana coconut roll. It says not all fruits in Thailand are salty. Some are sweet and some are ghostly. Ghostly. According to Thai folk tradition, wild banana trees are haunted by a ghost woman named, named Nag Nang Tani. That's why Thai folks refuse to grow the trees near their homes. Fortunately, Nang Tani happens to be a benevolent ghost and has even been known to give food to passing monks. 
In this case, she's gifted us a super crispy banana coconut roll. The only scary thing about them is how quickly they'll be gone. Okay. This sounds kind of like a cookie type thing. Oh, okay, so they're little. There's six of them in here. Oh, and they're like hollow. So these are kind of like those cookies that sometimes you get on ice cream. Um, tastes like, I mean, it smells like banana. It tastes a bit like dried banana. These are okay. Um, I don't dislike them, but I don't think that I would, you know, go out of my way to like get more of these. And they taste kind of like, like dried banana chips, but just in a crispy wafer form. But the taste is the same. It's just a different texture. So if you like, um, dry banana chips and you know not like the ones that are really sweet or the ones that are salted just kind of like the basic dry banana flavor that's exactly what they taste like they're good they're just not like amazing okay this is okay um sticky rice with coconut cream and mango it says, rice is eaten with every meal in Thailand. In fact, the Thai verb to eat, which is kin cow, C-H-A-O, literally translates to eat rice. Uh, rice is even defied, uh, deified, I'm sorry, rice is deified as May Fosop, a.k.a. the rice goddess, who watches over locals to ensure that they have enough to eat. Given all this, it's not surprising that mango sticky rice is Thailand's most beloved dessert. To enjoy this yum like a true local, heat in the microwave for 15 seconds. Okay, I'm not going to do that because... So maybe this taste test is not going to be fair because I'm not heating it. But okay. So it's like a, a cake type thing. I'm just going to take a little bit off. That's what it looks like when it's cut. It smells like a little bit fruity, like a little bit of the mango is coming through. doesn't really taste like much of anything to me. I mean, it's a little sweet. I know it's a sticky rice cake, so I know it's rice. But if I didn't know that, I don't think I'd know that from tasting it. So, again, I do not dislike it. But I don't find that to be amazing. Okay, <clears throat> this is the thing that was replacing the one that they said was not um, not uh, acceptable. So this is a sour punk candy stick blueberry. <clears throat> So, it says, fun fact, every year Thailand puts on a monkey buffet festival where towering pyramids of the country's best fruits are offered up to local monkeys, the macacues. So, they have a monkey banquet. Um, here's one fruity yum the monkeys probably wouldn't go bananas for, but Thai folks sure would. These sour punk blueberry straws are produced by Thailand's General Candy Company, the local market leader in fruit candy for over 30 years. Um, 
ready to taste while they're so popular. It says maybe you'll even love them as much as the punk on the wrapper. Oh, I see. Okay. So. Okay. These are, you know, these are gummy straws. This isn't something that we haven't seen here in the States. Oops. Okay, one just fell out. So it's like the gummy straw. Hmm. Sorry. It is a really good sour blueberry flavor. Um very much like a blueberry jam kind of flavor. Uh, it's good. It's This one's really good. Um, it's a good candy. <laughs> okay. Then the last thing in the box is um, something called the Yum Bag. And when I was reading about um, the Universal Yum Box, what it said is that they would have these, it has these Yum Bags in it, which are basically little candies. So, you know, so they're not just floating around loose in the box. You get this this bag that has several different things in it. And let's see what's in here. So, so that's what's in there. <clears throat> and there are, from what I can see, three, uh, four, di no, three different things. So there's these little yellow guys. These these and these okay so let's read about what they are um the thing that we didn't get was called the heartbeat lime gummy uh which was like a lime and salty thing so i was actually really looking forward to that but unfortunately that's what i didn't get um okay so this is an orchard banana chew it's a steamed steamed banana chew it said ever wonder why most banana candy tastes super fake the answer is simple it is compared to artificial alternatives fresh banana is way more difficult to craft into candy but it's not impossible which brings us to boon Persert confectionery in ampawa thailand that's where the most perfectly ripe bananas are stirred in a high heat steamer, mixed with sugar, and packaged in a thick, freshness preserving wrapper, creating this. Okay, so it's a banana chew. I like bananas, um, but they're not necessarily my favorite fruit. Um, I like them more in things, you know? And when you talk about fake banana, like candy, like I like that flavor. I mean, I know it is very fake, but I do like it. Like banana runs and stuff. Okay, this little package is hard to get off, so they must be really sticky. brownish red which um, if you ever watch the Great British Baking Show one of the seasons I think it was an early season they were having like upside down cake and one of the people made a banana upside down cake which turns red which is interesting when you cook the bananas they turn red It has kind of the texture of a caramel, not quite as sticky. Tastes like sweet banana. I mean, there's nothing like amazing about it. It tastes like sweet banana. It's with a different sort of texture than a banana has. I like it. Maybe not my favorite, but again, I'm not like a super huge banana fan. Um, okay. There's another interesting chew. This is a sweet corn chew. It's a Calypso, but it's spelled with a Z, corn flavored candy. <clears throat> okay, corn candy, not candy corn, corn candy. 
These sweet creamy corn shoes are one of Thailand's most popular candies. That being said, folks outside of Thailand tend to find them pretty divisive. So go ahead and give them a chew. Maybe you'll find a new fave. Maybe you won't. Okay. Here we go. So this is a corn candy. Little square. Okay. They're hard, first of all. They're not, like, really chewy. And it tastes like corn. Kind of weird. It's kind of weird. I mean, it's like, you know what it tastes like? It tastes like creamed corn. Like, the sweetness that you get from creamed corn. But, which I really like that flavor. But it's weird having it in a texture that I'm not familiar with with that flavor. So... It's chewy, but it's not soft like a caramel or something like that. It's a harder chewiness. Mm -hmm. Okay, I know I'm not looking very attractive while I'm trying to chew these things, sorry. Okay. Um, it is definitely interesting. I mean, I guess that's like one of the reasons that I wanted to get this kind of box was to try interesting new things. That is an interesting new thing. It is a very, uh, not very sweet, but a sweet corn flavor. There's nothing else but that sweet corn flavor. But it's in a chew, kind of like like a starburst but like a stale starburst it's like hard harder than a starburst you know it's like a stale starburst that's the texture but it, it has a really good flavor um i would eat you know I'll, I'll eat the other ones and i don't know if i would go and buy them specifically because i'm like oh my god that's amazing but it was good okay then the last thing and i was holding this to last because i know it's a hard candy and i'm not going to be able to like eat it I don't want to spit it out at you. So I'll probably just have it in my mouth when I finish the video. But um, it's this little yellow. And this is a heartbeat pineapple. It's a pineapple hard candy with a salt center. So, so <clears throat> salty pineapple may sound like another unusual yum. But in Thailand, it can be more common. When locals buy fruit, their local fruit vendor will give them complimentary packets of salt and spices. Um, which are meant to be sprinkled on top for an extra mouth-watering flavor explosion. These salt-filled pineapple candies definitely do the trick and don't even get us started on the cute heart shape. Okay, salting fruit to me is not that unusual. <clears throat> um, I've always like put a sprinkle of salt on my like watermelon, mango. I mean, I like that tahini stuff. That is, you know, basically lime and salt and um, a little chili powder. And that on like mangoes or even that on watermelon or, you know, so I'm very familiar with that sort of sweet, salty, you know, salting fruit kind of thing. So I'm sure this is going to be something that I'm going to like. So it's a little yellow hard candy. It's a cute little heart. And here goes. Mmm. Very good pineapple flavor. I'm going to bite it so we can get to that salt thing. Mm. Yep, it's got like salt in the center. It's a good flavor. I really like that. Those I would get again. Yep. I like them. Okay. So, that's it. That's all of the stuff in the box. Thank you for 
tasting, testing them with me. And um, the rest of the booklet has games and stuff about Thailand. I'm really excited to read through this. Um, so for my first box, I think it's been a total success. I totally enjoyed it. I'm sorry I have like chipmunk cheek now because I have candy in my mouth. But um, I totally enjoyed doing this and I can't wait until next month. And now I don't know what I'm going to get. So that'll be exciting to find out. Um, so let me know. Did you guys enjoy this video? Is this the, you know, is this something that you, well, you know, that you will look forward to watching with me? Um, I'd like to know what you guys think. Now, there is a, <clears throat> a, um, referral code that I can give to people. Um, I'm not going to list it below. I read through the terms. Um, I saw some, one video that I guess, um, pretty big uh, YouTube person who does a lot of like um, subscription boxes and this is one of the boxes she had and she got she was actually pretty angry because she got kicked out of the referral program thing because they said they had violated the terms <clears throat> so apparently with their terms you can you can share this code with your friends and family and you can share it on private social media, but you cannot share it on public social media. So anything that is a public channel, like my channel, anybody, anywhere could, could see it, that isn't allowed. But if you are interested in getting a referral code for Universal Yums, it'll give you $5 off your first box and it'll give me $5 off my next box as well. I can give that to you. You just need to send me um, a message to my email or you can private message me on Instagram and then I will send you the link um, to get $5 off your first box. So that's up to you. If you'd like to do that, I would be happy to share that code with you, but I can only do it in a private way. I can't do it in a public on, you know, I can't link it publicly. So thank you for sharing this time with me. Um, thank you for taking a little journey through Thailand with me with some of these flavors. I totally had fun doing this and I hope that you had fun watching it. Until the next time we see each other, um, please remember to always be content, be kind, and be crafty. Thanks everybody. Bye.